create a flip book. You know, like the little flip books you have multiple pages and when you flip it looks like things change or there's action that's taking place. You can actually do that in canva.com. You probably could do it in PowerPoint, but Canva allows you to use a lot of different elements and to duplicate the page is super easy. So if I wanted to do one with, um, say, primary succession, and I wanted to um, create this, I would add a background. So over here on the left-hand side are all of your different options here. You even have one, if you keep going down, that says more, and you have more options down here. But I added a background. You can see the background that I added, this one right here. And then I added some shapes. So I went to elements, and I chose some shapes to make these things look like rocks. And then if you want to just copy them, you can do take a group of them. So I could just say select those and then use this group tool, group it, and then I can copy it, Command C, and then Command V, and that will actually make another set of the same rocks. Um, if um, I want to change the colors. Now, I would ungroup them at this point. So I've got this group. I would ungroup them so I can kind of move them around. Ah, do you see how I used that little heart to make it look like it was a rock there? And I used a circle and just made the different ones and layering them on. And then you can just you can make them come to the front if you want to. Like if I want that one in the front, I go to the position and I bring it forward and it'll come in front of the other rocks. So you can make it um, move in layers so that it won't look like you've just copied and pasted the same thing over. Or I could just bring it over here just so it looks different. Like these are all different rocks. So this is my first slide, and if I wanted to add the element of a text box, I could say on this one, I could put it down primary succession. And then put it in there somewhere where I would like to put it. And then I want to duplicate this slide. So I go to this little button right here, and I'm gonna duplicate the slide. So now I have it in a second slide, but now in secondary succession, in primary succession, I'm going to see some mosses and lichens start to form on them. So I might want to go in here and in my elements, um, I want to search, let's see if I can find moss. I'm not sure if moss would be there, but we'll try. And oh, wow, there is moss. So I can take and bring that moss and put it on the rocks. And maybe if I want to turn it in a different direction to where it fits on the rock a little bit better, and I might want to put um, a different, I think you can also change the shading of them. So if you wanted to make some of them with a little more yellow tint, you could come in here and put some yellow tint into it so you can change the coloring of it. And if you wanted to go grab Let's see if there's a lichen. Whoops, sorry, in the wrong place. Got to go get my elements. Um, not sure if, oh, well, there's some things that we could use. Some just little tiny, tiny plants that we might be able to stick in here. Um, so I want you to, and you can go on um, the web also, pull um, little PNGs. That means a PNG uh, means that it is a clear or a transparent um, image. And so you can bring PNGs in here. So you might look up a moss PNG and make sure that it has a transparent background so you don't have that big white box behind it. That's what's so cool about using um, Canva because they have such a good selection of things. So let's say now I've got my mosses in here and I may want to duplicate that. Command C, Command V, put another one on another rock and make it a little smaller so it doesn't look just alike. Duplicating this uh, slide, once again, we go up here, we duplicate it, and now we're going to start seeing in 
in the uh, next slides, I might want to take off the title from the, all of the other slides except the first one. And then now I might start seeing little plants start to come in because now we're going to start seeing some soil. So we might want to make our our rocks start making them get a little smaller and maybe pulling in some uh, element of a shape maybe um, square but we can hide it behind to make it look like the soil starting to develop so do you see how that's kind of hidden and it kind of makes it looks like like there is some uh, soil that's starting to form in there. So you want to kind of de design that. Then once you get your soil, what comes in? Very small plants. So I might want to put in a tiny plant. Small plant. Let's see if we've got any. Oh, there are some little plants. Now, of course, you don't want to put them in a pot. You want them to look really natural. So we want to start with our very small plants and start putting those around because now they're going to start growing in the soil. I may change my background, start to change my background a little bit, making it uh, look a little bit more like daylight or something. Then you would copy it and then add in next some larger um, flowers. Then eventually you're going to add in some bushes and then some trees and be sure to add the animals that start moving in to eat or to pollinate from those some birds in the sky and then once you're finished we'll print those out you need to share them with me and make sure you're doing this in my classroom and that way i can print them out for you and um, then you can have a little flip book i would say 10 slides would probably be sufficient and then i can print them that way Okay, that is your design project that you're working on.